So today we're making the song of time using time. And yes, that pun was intended. And yes, this time smells really good. And... Mm, 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 mm. It smells so good in here. And here are the sounds that I decided I liked the best. The first thing I'm going to show you is how I made a plucking sound. This is the sound I made, and basically what I did is I took the pluck of the plucking the leaf of thyme off the sprig, and I found the frequency that was the highest in that, and I'm showing you here the frequency. And so basically I just took the pluck and I, and I boosted that frequency so I can get more of a tone out of it. And it was great, it was great. I've never done this before, obviously. This is the first time. So um, let's put that plug to good use. And here's the song of time using the pluck, and I'm just gonna show you this first version. And the second version. I think, it, I think it sounds pretty good. I think it sounds pretty good. And I think you sound pretty good. You sound really nice. And I sound nice. La 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 la! Listen to this time sound. I'm, I'm scraping the thyme leaves off the sprig. Listen to that. Does that sound like a rhythm to you? It really sounds like I can make something with that. So let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna add that to my song of time and I'm gonna, here, listen to this. I think it sounds great. It sounds a lot like, you know, it sounds like an orchestral snare, you know, just in the background. And I like that, it gives it a nice symphonic vibe, of a, a big room of, of people and some, you know, old war type snare sounds. It's really kind of, you know, plays in with that old Gregorian chant stuff like that. So that's good. We're going, we're going places. Now, right now I'm really feeling like, you know, I need some kind of strings because I'm really going for that orchestral vibe. So I don't have any sounds that can really do a strings, but I do have this thump and that thump it's a really rich thump and it's got a lot of bass. So I'm gonna see those frequencies in the bass end of the spectrum. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna boost, uh, you know, a, just a tiny bit of a boost. And then I'm gonna clip this thump as short as possible that just includes the thump with no space. And I'm gonna take that little thump and I'm gonna paste the same thump back to back to give it some more friends. Keep doing that and, and do that until it's really like I got a lot of thumps. 
That's a lot of thumps. And that's what that sounds like. It sounds really good. It's like a synth, but a bit more, you know, st as strings-like as I could get it. I'm going to try and add a few more effects on that so we can keep it kind of sounding like an orchestra and not like a synthesizer. So here are the, here are some versions of the Song of Time I made using the, you know, plucking sound, the thumping sound, and the snare. Now, it was at this point where I was feeling like an arpeggio. I really felt like it needed some kind of underlying pattern, maybe like a, vi a violin would be doing in an orchestra, to really kind of make it more interesting. We're adding the arpeggio, and it, you know, it, arpeggios are cool. Ar you know, I fiddled around with it a little bit, and here's what I got. Now, as I went further and further, the arpeggio got more complicated and more complicated, and that sounded actually pretty cool. I had to dial it back a few times, but eh, at the end of the day, I'm, ha I'm happy with it. Once I got the arpeggio as I liked it, I really enveloped it by boosting a few frequencies in and, and layering it, copying and pasting it, and raising it up an octave to really layer in the sounds like in an orchestra. And I also took the snare drum and I, I boosted that, it boosted the bass, so it gave it a much fuller sound. And the end result, you know, you would be very surprised to hear that it was made using time, you know, but it was. It really was totally used using time, using... Um, some reverb using cut copy and paste tools and at the end of the day that's pretty much all it was and and utilizing the ability to map the sounds on uh, and and on different you know different frequencies today's video was sponsored by ridge wallet thank you ridge wallet for sponsoring um this is the final sponsorship. I really waited a long time to do these sponsorships. They're really spaced out. Um, Ridge Wallet sent me a free wallet and I used it. And it's a, it's a great wallet. I really still use it every day. It's been almost a year now. But yeah, they're, they're great. The wallet's great. I still use it. It's really nice. It's nice and small. Fits in my pocket. So yeah, thanks Ridge for sponsoring. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in a Ridge Wallet, go check out the link in the description or go to this website. Other sponsors include me. Go check out my video, All We Want Is Freedom. That's a really great video. I sing. It's a minute long. You're going to love it, okay? I'd like to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You guys are great. 
and the after show for this episode is coming out pretty soon. So I'll see you in the after show. Okay. Hey, you. So I got pretty something, sp- something pretty splantacular to, to show you. Drum roll, please. You might be wondering, Sean, what in the absolute sh- is that? And I would say this is a high voltage copper connector pulled from a high voltage battery, which was also pulled out of a hybrid vehicle. Its life begins with me as a corroded and worn out connector from years of transporting electrons while unsuspecting hybrid owners drive their cars. I give the connectors a deep clean, a tumble and a polish to rejuvenate them to a whole new glory. I then stamp a fantabulous heart in the middle to signify a message. Stay connected to those you love. Stay connected to what you love. For a limited time, I'm offering a small batch of these for sale. If you'd like to buy one for yourself or for a friend or for a family member or for a dog or for a cat or for a pet gecko or for yourself again, it'll come with a nice card explaining the meaning behind it. And you could even make it into a bracelet if you or you're creative or something. I personally stamp every connector with the heart, attach the card, put it in the envelope and send it off to you. I think it's pretty awesome because every single connector is unique due to the randomness of corrosion and etchings in the copper. Ordering soon is a good idea just because they take quite the time investment to number one, procure the hybrid battery from an old car, and number two, remove, clean, tumble, polish, and stamp. I mean, they aren't something I can easily just turn out on a whim. Once they're gone, they're gone. So definitely go click that link below and order some. I checked out prices on Etsy for copper jewelry, and the prices I found ranged from 20 to 30 bucks. So I think starting out at like $10 is a fair price for something so unique, but definitely let me know in the comment section your thoughts on pricing. I present to you the song of time, using time with not a lot of time left.